Hello guys, I'm upstairs in Hotel Football at the moment after the game. We've managed to beat Reading by two goals to nil. I have to say, that performance was terrible. Proper Mourinho Blues that was. Um, nah, in all honesty, it's not. It's easy to say it's Mourinho Blues, but there was a lot of changes today. And I think that proved, man, we were just poor from minute one. Just didn't get after Reading, didn't get in their faces. We allowed them to be comfortable on the ball. Um, and like I said, I do put it down to the changes. I have to say I was particularly disappointed with Fred and Pereira today. Fred especially, I just everything he touched just turned shit, to be honest. Couldn't string a pass together. The whole midfield trio of um, Pereira, Fred and McTominay just didn't work all game. All game, and they just, they just weren't at it. Um, the, the intensity wasn't there, the speed and the passing wasn't there, the pressing wasn't there, the chance creation wasn't there. It just really was poor. Um, at the back, I'm not going to say Reading had absolutely loads of chances, but they did They did put us under pressure a lot of times. There was a chance, I remember they were clean through in the first half and luckily, luckily for us, I think it was a bit of bad decision making from them um, that got us out of it. But we, really, we were really poor at the top end of the pitch. It just didn't click. Alexis tried to make things work. Lukaku, ah, look, he scored a goal today, which is fantastic, but at times, his touch was just terrible. In the first half, he was clean for on goal, fumbled up his feet, messed up his touch, and the chance wasn't as, as good a chance as it should have been. Um, even for the goal, he kind of pushed it probably further than he'd wanted to around the keeper, but I let him off because he scored. And there was a time in the second half, I don't know if you guys saw it, the ball was in the air, and he just sort of done a semicircle around the ball. Like, it's almost like he's, he's, he's that unconfident to make a first touch on the ball that he's just trying not to touch it. <laughs> um, but it just, it just didn't work today. Um, the changes that came on, um, uh, obviously Chong, it was fantastic to see him get on the pitch today. Rashford got on, um, but it just, it just didn't work. It just, it just didn't work today. I, there was so much wrong with the performance that was Mourinho S, you could say, but I, you know, I'm not going to blame that on that. I, look, I, I, I simply put it down to the fact that these players don't don't play at all, uh, and I think that's that's the that's the reason why it was such a um, a, a poor performance. I, I think if, if Reading don't make the mistakes that they did make, then um, it could have been a different story, you know. The, the, the VAR I saw it at half time. I'm still not sure. It looked like it was offside before it was a penalty. I don't know. It looked like we got away with one there. Um, and then for the second goal, it, it looked like obviously the, the Reading defender tried to play Rom offside and, and a good spot by Sanchez, so an assist for him. Uh, he went off injured, I hope he hasn't um, got, got too injured. But I have to go back to, to Fred because he's a player that I've, I really want to see more of. I've been told by rival fans, as you do, because they always hate, oh, he's shit, he's poor, he's never going to be good. And even some Man United fans have, have said to me, you know, he's not a proper Brazilian, he's not this, he's not that. I've just said, give him time, give him time. And look, he hasn't had a lot of game time recently, but when you do get the chance, you want him to shine. And it's against a very poor red inside. This is a very poor championship team. You know, they're not knocking on the door. They're not a Leeds who were playing really well. They're not a Derby at the time who were playing really well, who came to us. And, you know, there should be no excuse for looking inferior to a championship side at any time. And I'm not saying that we did, but they were just so comfortable at times and they were knocking it about. and. The press just didn't work, it was non-existent, and that's what worried me. But Fred, I just wanted him to shine, you know? Same with Andreas, we've been screaming for these players to play. And look, if the manager puts them in, they've got to go and try and put in a shift against lesser opposition like this. And they didn't do that today, man. They didn't do that today at all. I thought Ashley Young was very poor today. Um, uncharacteristically for him, he was very poor. I think Delot tried, I think because Matter came in off the right-hand side so much, he gave the lot a lot to do up and down that flank and made it very, very difficult for himself. Um, well, that made it difficult for him, should I say. So I wouldn't blame him for that. Phil Jones, a couple of dodgy moments from him as usual, but a couple of good ones. I'd have to say, if I'm looking at man of the match, nobody stood out, nobody stood out, but I'd have to give it to Damian. I'd have to give it to Damian. And the reason being is, A, that shows how poor we were collectively as an attacking unit. Um, and a midfield unit, but you know, he hasn't played a lot of games, he's playing out of position at centre half, and yeah, it's against Reading, but he was all right, and that's clutching, realistically, this felt like a game where I could actually say, who is man of the match? I don't think anyone is, but you've always got to give it to someone, um, and, and that, that someone for me would be Damian. Look, today, yes, we wanted to win fours, and I predicted 4-0, we were way off that today. Some people predicting fives and sixes, and it just goes to show that you're not always going to get the performances to match. But look, it's five out of five for Oli, and that's the main thing. And we're in the, we're in the hat um, for, for the next round. And that's all it is. That's what it's about in, in cup competition. So, you know, we go on 
a week off, Tottenham, man. That is the game. That is the game. That is where we're going to be judged. That's where we're going to, you know, see just how much progress we've made. Um, because if we go there and get beaten comfortably, convincingly, it's going to be a low feeling again, you know. But a lot of them fans have said, even if we do lose, they want to, they want to lose fighting, you know. Is the game a must-win game and a not a just not lose? I think a draw is okay, is an okay result. You know, Arsenal then got to play Chelsea the next game. I think it is after that. There's loads of games to come, so I think I think it's a just must not lose game to be honest. Um, if we can go there and stay in the game, um, you know, early on because Tottenham will want to start fast. We all know what happened last year. Ten seconds in, um, hopefully we can avoid that. Um, but we've shown we can go and beat Tottenham there. We did it in the in the in the FA Cup semi-final, and that was from a goal down. You know, Tottenham booming with confidence. And they'll be booming with confidence again that they've just put seven past Tranmere. So they'll be confident, but we're confident too. And I think if Oli can go there and stay true to his word, which he has been doing, in terms of they need to be worried about our threats. Martial back into the side, Rashford back into the side, hopefully. Jesse on that right-hand side. I think there's no reason why we can't go there and, and, and I'm not even going to cause it. I'm not even going to call it cause an upset because, you know, the players that we've got were capable of beating anyone. I just really hope we, that we stay true to that and have that same mentality. What I will say is the, the midfield three of Pogba, Matic and Herrera, that has been massively uh, underrated, uh, especially the, the, the Matic and Herrera bit of it today. You look at those two guys who went in the side today and obviously Pogba, we know what he brings. You look at the midfield, it was almost non-existent today. Um, so those three coming back in is going to be a massive plus and that will be our, our A team, as you call it. So on, on we go to that. So I want to know who your man of the match was. Obviously, the player ratings will be coming out tomorrow, so make sure you guys check that out. But for me, <laughs> I've got to give it to Damian because there's nobody else because we were that poor. And Lukaku, listen, Lukaku, man, you're the new Oli. You're coming off the bench, mate. Bench player at best. Um, impact. And, you know, it's a good impact to have. But uh, starting, not for me. Let, you, let, you, let me know what you guys think. And uh, I'll see you at Tottenham.